Alright, Debbie here, and I'm back playing some more Braid. Uh, anyways, we're going to continue on. I'm going to try to figure out how to get this puzzle piece over here. Oh, I bet it has to do with this also. Like putting that in the corner. Or just a little bit lower. Maybe he'll come down. That's what I'm hoping. Okay, bring this all the way down. Okay, okay, okay. Now he's blocked into. He turns around again. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> rewind that. Yes, got it. Okay, last piece. That means I got this. I got it. Awesome. Okay. Completed this one. Exit the current world. Yes, go to clouds. Okay. Let me go back through here. Got that puzzle solved all the way. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go through here. Time and mystery. All those years ago, Tim had left the princess behind. He had kissed her on the neck, picked up his travel bag, and walked, in, walked out the door. He regrets this to a degree. Now he's journeying to find her again. To show he knows how sad it was, but also to tell her how it was good. For a long time, he thought they had been cultivating a perfect relationship. He had been fiercely protective, reversing all of his mistakes so they would not touch her. Likewise, keeping a tight rein on her own mistakes. She always pleased him. But to be fully couched within the comfort of a friend is a mode of existence with severe implications. To please you perfectly, she must understand you perfectly. Thus, you cannot defy her expectations or escape her reach. Her benevolence has circumscribed you, and your life's achievements will not reach beyond the map she has drawn. Tim needed to be non-manipulable. He needed a hope of transcendence. He needed sometimes to be immune to the princess's caring touch. Off in the distance, Tim saw a castle where the flags uttered flutter, even when the wind has expired and the bread of the kitchen is always warm. A little bit of magic. Alright, let's get into this one. It's called The Pit. Hmm. Uh, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. I don't know what I want to do. And jump. But the cool thing is, he holds onto the key, and that's like a uh, like the first time I played this a long time ago. It was a pretty cool thing. I, I mean, it's not something I figured out. It's something that the game's designed to do. It's just a trick, you know. Oh, I have to get that key and then rewind. Okay, I gotta get that puzzle piece as quickly as I can. I'm gonna jump back. It's gonna make all this stuff go back. I'm gonna go right there with the puzzle piece. Phase. Oh, you can climb through the platform. That's pretty cool. I want to go down the ground though and see what's what's up here. I know how to get over to that. I think so. Anyways,
you have to uh, reverse it because one of them's going faster than the other or whatever but it, the time switches or whatever just due to uh, see one of them is affected by time and the other one's not That's pretty cool, huh? See, I'm trying as hard as I can to get all the pieces I can. Okay, this one I think is going to be a little bit tougher. timing on these two. Uh... Mm -hmm. I have to have a lot of patience sometimes. It's pretty cool that the background, I don't know if you noticed it, uh, kind of zooming out, kind of, I guess. Okay, I got this one. Alright, the ground beneath her feet. I wonder, is there going to be another one of these guys or not? Ah, and I'm going to wait until what's his name comes back to life. And then he's going to get it for me, I think. I wonder if you could go back through that. Awesome. That's pretty cool, but it doesn't really apply it. Like, physics don't always apply the way that you really think things would work. Uh, the art in this game is just overwhelming. Kind of. I mean that in a good way, too. It's just hard to get over how amazing it looks. Tight channels. Rabbits. <laughs> uh... Oh, he got me.
time doesn't affect him. So I have to walk him. I need to do it from over this way like this so it reminds me as well. That way... Oh. I gotta do it. I have to be over here first. Has to be time to strive. This is a pretty tricky puzzle, really, as far as relying on time. Got it! Awesome, okay. Now, we can move on to the next piece. Oh, it's okay. It's like a family. Uh, you can't chase me forever. Actually, it looks like you can. Ooh. <laughs> Back to Latin, Latin, Latin. Awesome. All right, uh, I'm running a little low on time, so I'll be back here with just a little bit with some more. And uh, we'll just continue on. Thanks for watching.